Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So, I'm just going to quickly, I'm on uh, Scylla at the moment. I look up at night, but... Can't walk five meters without stubbing your toe on a loose rock here. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever they, they said. Um, yeah, so I'm on Scylla, just uh, looking for that delivery captain, whatever his name was. Um, Irion, that the uh, medic, the doctor back in the groundbreaker wanted me to find. Hopefully this is just going to be a small little errand I have to do, and then I can go straight back to groundbreaker, because I got a ton of uh, quests to do there. And when I get back to the ship as well, I'm going to have to try and uh, modify this carbine repeater. Because it's really good. Uh, got like a ton of ammo for it. And the more mechanicals I destroy, the more ammo I get. So it's all good, really. And it's going to be my main gun, I think. Oh, this gun's amazing. Oh, this gun really is great. Okay, so... This must be the guy. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. <laughs> All right. Uh, Captain Irion, I take it? The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? She did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automechs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Then taken. Um, I'll let Wanda know your shipment's on the way. Magnificent. And do please give Wanda my chilliest regards. Can do. Okay. Well, that's pretty much that then. Let's go back. Uh, map. Oh, there you go. My really was like a quick, uh, a quick quest. Uh, does this load? Yeah, cool. Uh, I was like, I was like, Welcome does this back. even load? Is this ever going to load? I am encumbered. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. So, breakdown. Ah, cool. I got a hunting rifle. Uh, breakdown. Uh, I can't tell what I'm doing. Light machine gun, heavy machine gun. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of armor. Actually, what was I doing? 
I wanted to... Actually, I can try and modify it. Where is it? It's that one. Uh... Okay, I'll install the mod. Uh, right, so Tinker. Uh, yeah, go to inventory and I'll check this out. So I got 26 and 16. Sixteen and there's twenty-six and that's twenty-one. Um, hmm. Twenty-six and then twenty-six. All right. Let me see if I can modify it. Maybe no. Tinker it. Uh, tinker with it. Tinker it. Uh. Yeah, stick a, uh, keep it at that, shall we? Made some progress and some improvements on uh, my equipment. Uh, right, back to Groundbreaker. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. I should probably have talk, talk, spoken to the vicar when I was on Scylla and given him those data record things I got. Might do that now. Poisons, toxins and venom. Good for all that ails you. Anti <laughs> antibiotics. New improved packaging. Okay. So that's what that is. Anthro anthracillin. It just sort of gets rid of uh, poison effects, basically. Okay, I got a few things to do here. First of which, though, uh, got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here, there's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Alright. This all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. You hesitated there, Vicar. What aren't you telling me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? Okay, well, sounds good. Let's go. To the pub. Or bar, or whatever this is. Or the Lost Hope. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Okay, so... What are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. All right. Well, you're not much of a drinker. Um, better start slow with the beer. 
Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Welcome to a favored pastime of the common masses, Ms. Holcomb. I myself don't imagine you'll care for the flavor. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Generally, or, um, specifically? Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh, oh, why did I drink that? I mean, just with June Lei. I don't know what to do about us. Start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Well, uh, what she actually... What did, what did she actually write in the message? You haven't said. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? Um, what is this really about Pavati? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. All right, um, same as before? Law, no. That beer tasted like how Dad's old socks smelled. Maybe something sweet and mild, like wine? Let's try, yeah, wine. Wine might be good. Gosh, that smells pretty almost. Like flowers gone a little off. Down it goes. Hey, that's, that's not so bad. Kind of almost nice, maybe. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. About what exactly? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? Well, don't stop there. You're on a roll. Don't you tease me in my moment of weakness. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later she's not? Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Everyone is. No matter their quirks. Huh. I never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Something to work on, then, isn't it? Yeah. I like the way you put that, like... It's okay to want to be better for her, and not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So, are you going to ask her out? Oh gosh, I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her out. Alright, alright. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay? 
Okay, I'm gonna do it. Right when we get back to the shit. Ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Well, it's not like I could be elsewhere. Nor am I capable of neglecting a wayward lamb in need of guidance. Huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Alright. Time to go and see Gladys now, I think. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I investigated the distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. Um, about those secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? Well, I found this fancy toothpaste formula. Here you go. These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this, but voice not, want not, I suppose. Um, I quite some research on Raptodon Musk. Interested? Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say Raptodon? Gracious, someone must have hogged them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. I also found schematics for a prototype weapon from Force. And I'm selling. You buying? Peaches and cream, if that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week. That'll go for a tidy sum of bits. And I think that's it. That's plenty, my dear. And more than I thought you'd find. You got a knack for snooping. I ought to just hire you next time, instead of those sub-like lunkheads. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your friend Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I'm afraid that's confidential, my dear. A matter of customer privacy. I'd wager you'd demand the same were you the one buying. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made with... Okay, let's see if I got enough for... The nav key. No. Anytime. Oh, what was the point? In doing... What was the point in doing that quest? Did I get paid? I got 6,000 bits. I just need some more. Uh... Oh, I got seven thousand bits. Um, tch 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 tch. See uh, the, the the nurse or whatever she was, the doctor. Let's see if she's got anything. Hey, lady, I'm looking to get paid. Were I a gambling woman, 
I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Oh, I didn't get paid. Well, that was a bitch. Hmm. All right, hang on. Uh, hello. Now is the. Okay, let me see what you've got for sale. A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck, and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. Well, I got some something, I guess. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Maybe I can take a look inside? Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Keep hanging around, and I'll begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? Any chance I could look in the back rooms? Not sure why you'd want to, given the biohazard signs. Luckily, we don't actually have any chemical agents or play going on in there. Not right now, at least. Well, you did help me out. Sure, go ahead. Just don't do anything unsavory. Right here, Doc. Anything interesting I can pinch? Okay, this isn't really the treasure troll I was hoping for. Easy does it. Oh, all right. Guessing that's a alternate way into this. And into this place. You're sure this is perfectly safe. I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. For the last rat is on rotten time. Leave me in peace! You whole-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Uh, Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. She is worried about you. Like, a lot. Criminy. She really ain't gonna drop this, is she? Alright, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've gotta do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. 
You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. What did you do that got you in so much, tr uh, so much tr uh, trouble? <laughs> I couldn't get my words up, man. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yet you think the board had someone follow you, and now you're hiding out in the med bay? Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. So you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer, he paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Uh, Ellie asked me to help you out, so that's what I plan on doing. Udom Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Okay, I'll talk to Udom for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? I don't know why I'm bothering to do this. I doubt she's going to pay me. Okay, where am I going? Don't really care much about any of that stuff. Is it just me, or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Um... Yeah, let's see what you got to trade. Uh, have a look. Uh, that's only like, that's, that's only, they're only worth like 8 bits each. Okay, that's worth 400. Hmm. 17. 11. Who was this? 41. Jeez. Well, that's something, I guess. I need to go and talk to Udom, don't I? This is how 
Halcyon Doom. How do you do? Ah, how might I assist you? Uh, I'm here about Jessie Doyle. Uh, I want her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an indenture contract. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Well, I see it. She doesn't have much of a choice now, does she? I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Nope, that's pretty much it. Okay, just need to go and talk to her now. Sublight salvage. Their front looks surprisingly on the up and up. Okay, may hit the wrong area. Let me go back here. Okay, and back. Yeah, par uh, apologies for that. I get it. it but today, the noise, felt like a volume level in my house has gone up and down. Like sometimes it'll be quick, and then the next, next thing you know, there's like shouting and whatnot going on. And it's like a. Just, yeah. I've just given up now on trying to just record when it's quiet. Okay, where's the medical bay? Oh, it's through here. Cool. Wish I, I could say it was good to forgot. see you, Ellie. At least the good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Well, welcome board. You won't be sorry, though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Uh... Max, I'll catch up with you on the ship later. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. Hmm, yeah, I still need to get some money together. Not like a lot of money though. Let's see if I can if I got any like uh, any dialogue options I can use. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I tossed again. Okay, anything here that can be of service. It's 480, jeez. Thirty-two times six. What the hell is it? Like a shotgun? God damn. Two thousand bits as well. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything, do I? 
Uh, mm, I could get rid of that, but I'm still going to have 200 bits to find. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. A tactical shotgun and plasma rifle are gone. Uh, can I buy things back? Okay. Um, I don't want to. I really don't want to. But it looks like I'm going to need to get rid of that. If I go away... Yeah, I'm just going to skip the the RPG thing I've been doing. Just to test out a few things. Right, so that's still there. I don't know how long it's there for, but it's still there. Now I just need to cobble together a hundred more uh, bits. So... Hmm. Okay, fifty more. Ten thousand and ten. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting. I'll buy the uh, Stella Bay nav key now. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Nope. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Yeah, money grabbing hag. Right. I can't believe I spent all that money on that. Oh, I sold the gun too. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts. Okay, I'm gonna go and see this woman in the sublight offices. Count me in. Miss Ellie, er, uh, Dr. Van Helke. I noticed your pistol's been. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Um, yeah. The name's Captain Roland Deschain. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. You two know each other? Took some extra lead while I was on a job. Ellie here patching me up good. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. So you're a sublight employee? Sure am. A few years back they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. Alright, well, I should go and meet Miss Lilia. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Name's Roland Deschain, Captain of the Unreliable. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorn was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Okay. Well, just to be sh just to make things clear, I did not kill him. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I can get to Stellar Bay. What's the job? 
One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Alright. I'll take the drop. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? Understood. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Well, I didn't say I wasn't worried, but okay. Uh, right. Well, I'm going to call this uh, a day here. Um, so in the next episode, I'm going to be aboard the Unreliable and setting course for Monarch slash Stellar Bay, specifically. Hope you're all enjoying the walkthrough. Hope you're all enjoying the game as well. I am loving it so far. Can't wait to see where it goes from here. Um, if you could leave a like for the video and a comment down below, it would help a great deal. I hope the audio is uh, okay as well. That's acceptable. Um, like I said, about I, delete a f I deleted a few of my first play. I deleted all of my first attempt at a playthrough because the audio was off. Hopefully, it's a bit better like when this uh, this time round. Um, yeah, if you wait around a few seconds as well for the end screen, you'll have two suggestions of uh, playlists and other playthroughs you can watch. And if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel because doing so helps you keep up to date with. Uh, well, shows me some support and helps you keep up to date if you hit the bell icon on my channel and at the bottom of the video, I believe, in the inf in the right below the video. Anyway, uh, thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. For now, though, take care.